Mr. and Mrs. Candle Holder with some 3D Orchids Acrylic Nail Art Tutorial by Hot Pink Zebra Polish. Hi guys, in today's video I'm going to be showing you the candle holder that sat in front of Terrell and I when we were sitting at our head table and it says Mr. and Mrs. and then it's just, it's got these little, I actually bought the candle holder itself pre, pre as it was, I just enhanced it then, but it's got spots for six I believe candles inside and then I put the Mr. and Mrs. in the center and then along the outside corners there's a couple of acrylic cues that kind of go with the glasses, the champagne glasses that I decorated and then there's some 3D orchids. I really like this trail, really wanted to have something in front of us that said Mr. and Mrs. and this is what I came up with and I hope you guys like it and don't forget to click subscribe to see all my future videos as well. So to start with, I was wrong, there's actually five little candle holders that um, are in the center or in this thing. Um, so it works out really well because you can very easily space your writing if you kind of do it according to the, in my case, they're like these little diamond shapes, but um, in accordance to where the candles go. So if you have five like this or anything, you know, six, do it in between. But if you got five, you can do it right in the center one. You're going to want to write your and sign. So that is kind of, you know, just an easy little thing to do if you do have an an odd number of candles that are in the candle holder. So go ahead and just paint your and sign. I am using multi-surface paint. This is the kind of paint that can go in the dishwasher even though you probably aren't going to dishwasher your candle holder. I don't really know why you would, but it's the that's the kind of paint that has the the durability to last on glass like this. So it's the kind of paint. There's other kinds of glass paint that you can get, but it's not as easy to work with. So if you use a uh, acrylic multi-surface paint. It's just, it works out really, really well. So next I'm going to be writing out the misses after the and sign, and I'm going to try to get it so it's fairly centered on top of that next little candle holder. Like I said, it works out really well to space yourself because you've got these pre-designated, perfectly spaced out little objects to base your work off of. So I didn't want this to be very, um, I don't know, too classic of writing. I want it to be a little bit more fun. So my, there's curly cues on my letters, the lines aren't straight, and it's just kind of, like I said, you know, fun, not too serious, kind of the way I do things most of the time. Um, so I've got the first two lines of the M, and then I'm going to go and I'm going to add the other, like, just like the little um, V shape in the center to connect them. And when I was doing this, I did have a font that I was looking at, but I kind of, I don't know, switched things up somewhat. You can just kind of play around with it. Um, you can do whatever styling that you want. The background of this candle holder was really plain. It's just got a little bit of like a mirror trim on it. And then it has those little diamond shapes for the candle holders uh, to put the actual candles in. Otherwise, it's just completely plain. So it's just so... It's just, you have so much options, so many options, and the styling really you can play with however you like. So then after the M, we've got the R and the S, and when I was doing this at first, I was thinking, well, it can't be perfectly centered because there's an R in Mrs. and there's, or there's an S after the R in Mrs. where there wouldn't be in the Mr. and it wouldn't be evenly spaced. And then I thought, but it would look weird if the and sign was off center. So I decided that it was better to have the misses go a little bit farther off to the side than the mister and that it would work out better. So that is how I did it. You can make that executive decision yourself. The other thing that you could do, um, I know that this is on a candle holder, like I've been saying a million and six times, but if you want it to be on something else, just like a little sign, you could even do this on a cute little canvas and paint some flowers around it. Or um, there's a lot of things that I've seen recently that have been like distressed wood so like on a wood plank, you could also do something very, very similar to this. Um, I was just out and about shopping and I saw this little candle holder on clearance and I was like, oh, I could paint that. So that's how I ended up with this one in particular. That's kind of how I shop. I just walk around and then I find things that are on a really good sale or on clearance. I was like, oh, I could make that better. And I, that's, yeah. So that's how I end up with all these projects is because I just find things that I get a little inspiration to enhance. So that is how I came up with this one. Plus, um, it really did go with a lot of our, a lot of our decor, I suppose you could say. And we had little, not actually wax candles, but just little tea lights that we put in that were purple, which went with all of our, we had purple stuff everywhere. So yeah, that worked out really well. Just those little tea lights in there. Cause I didn't, I didn't want to actually have candles inside because I thought it would get the little diamond shapes really kind of gross. Mm wax covered. And I also, I did add a rhinestone to the periods after the Mr. and the Mrs. Um, later on, but I did put just like a base of that little dot down first. You can always skip the rhinestones or you can, you know, do whatever you like. And then I'm going to be doing my filigree and I start out with really big 
just like on the champagne glasses, I started out with really big swirls and then I added little details to them afterwards. And I did it the opposite on, so I'm just showing you one side with the swirls. You don't need to see it. It's just the opposite. So just kind of mirror it, flip it over and then repaint it on the other side. So I've got these shapes down and then just adding a couple leaves like I did on the champagne glasses and just a couple little things just to kind of fill it out some. And then I also am going to be showing you how I made the orchids in case you missed it in some of the other videos I have, but it is a condensed version. So I'll show you that in just a moment. It's a, like I said, it's a condensed version. It's a little bit faster and I'm not really gonna go into as much detail on how I made them. But if you are interested, if you check out the candle holder video or the my set of nails from the wedding, there's much better, much more detailed instructions on how I made the orchids in those. So I will, like I said, I do show you how I made them in just a moment, but I just want to mention that there's there's better instructions in other videos. So as you're painting your your little filigree design, like I said in the other video, if it's not exactly the same from side to side. No one's going to see that detail. So just start out with the same base shape and have kind of the same idea in mind as to how you're going to paint it. Try to put leaves in the same spot, so on and so forth. But if it's not identical, if there's three leaves in one spot and there's a one leaf and two little lines on the other side, no one's ever going to see that because there's so much little detail happening in here that if they're not identical from side to side, no one is going to know. So then I'll be making the 3D orchids here. You need um, two large, two medium, and two small for each, or to make this candle holder because I put um, one set on each side of it. And so you do need to have six of these flowers and just kind of work on them. And really quickly as I'm making these, so many people have asked me for wedding photos and I promise you I will be sharing some. I can't guarantee you what video it'll be and it'll probably just be in some random video uh, at some point because I haven't gotten my photos back. I um, I had just like a family friend BR that does that takes um, promo photos for a local uh, local TV station is who did um, who did our photos and so he's doing he's editing them and taking care of that in his off time so I don't really know when I'm getting them back but uh, when I do get them back and I do have some to share with you I definitely will so I promise you there will be some photos like I said in a video at some point I don't exactly know when but I will let you know when that happens I'll probably just be at the end of the video and I'll just give you a heads up that um, those those will be available there and then after you have your orchids done and painted go ahead and glue them on to your little candle holder just with nail glue and then with some uh, builder gel you're going to want to attach your rhinestones so I just have three rhinestones above each set above the biggest orchid or I guess I don't know they're kind of above they go off to the Anyways, three orchids on either side, or three rhinestones on either side of the orchids, and then a larger rhinestone on each of the periods. And that is it. To cure that builder gel, I have a lamp that the bottom is removable and I can just set it right on top of things like this. So that works out really well if you have that kind of lamp. Or the little travel USB ones also work fantastically for curing things on different kinds of projects because they just kind of set on top of stuff. So I hope you guys like this and please share any recreations with me on Facebook or Instagram. I'd love to see them and I will see you in my next video. Bye.